as the Middle East country of Afghanistan comes to terms as with the fact that it has assumed a new name with its new leaders, the Taliban, there have been calls for restraint and caution as some have given its support to the development while others have condemned the takeover of the country using force as executed by the Taliban. Fighters loyal to the insurgents group had surrounded the capital Kabul and after a smooth and easy maneuver, the city was captured with the president fleeing to an unknown destination. While reacting to the incident, the director of the Muslim Right Consigned in Nigeria, Murik, Professor Akin Tola, has hailed the return of the Taliban to Afghanistan, adding that it was a move and made at taking back the country from the control of the United States of America, which had allegedly deceived the country for over 20 years. Recall, the U.S. had set foot in Afghanistan after the popular 9-11 or 11 attack of the 11th of September 2001, where some Taliban fighters had rammed a plane into the World Trade Center in New York, killing hundreds of U.S. citizens. Afghanistan had been the hot spot for the Taliban and Osama bin Laden's the USA and aimed to take out the individuals involved in the attack, thus the relocation of U.S. Army personnel to Afghanistan. The Taliban were later chased out of the country. While some of them surrendered, a democratically elected government was set up later on. However, the U.S. under Joe Biden thought otherwise and started the remove of American troops from the city, thus the recent takeover by the, by the once ousted Taliban. Akintola went ahead to mention that the U.S. had deceived the Afghanistan citizens as it did not seek for any means to ensure the provision of, the, of infrastructure and re, return power to the people, but was there to seek its own affairs. The military director further accused the U.S. of fleeing when the country needed them most. Akintola, however, said that while they support the return of the uh, Taliban, they will not support any form of extremism and terrorism as it concerns the rights of women. He noted that the Taliban has been known for infringing on the rights of women, like denying them the right to education, even though in Islam, the education of the girl child is encouraged. He further added that the daughter of Prophet Muhammad was a foremost educationist, educationist and after the Prophet's death had related the, the hadiths of the Prophet, the, the Mutri director also mentioned that people should not look at the Taliban from the perspective of their past actions as this new group of Taliban leaders have learned from the past learned from the past and are supposed to make things work in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, a lot of Nigerians are not really this is not really go down with them. Okay, someone said that these are the kinds of beliefs and ideas that give birth to all forms of terrorism in Nigeria. Why would him say so? Is he not a terrorist? What is the difference between the Taliban and extremism? This idiot talking as if the Taliban have taken permission from him or how they will rule the country. What lessons have they learned? Do not forget that the Taliban is a political party. When in Afghanistan is another cause of whatever, this, their destruction was American and group was not right, they should be allowed to contest their power as a citizen. They know them. Oh, sorry, I cannot really get this. Sorry about that. Can't get the weddings. All right, someone said the citizens of the countries are fleeing from there, from their home. You are in your country. Open your mouth to say we support Taliban. Has he does has he got into this? I'll tell you for this man, no. 
Very soon, Boko Haram will see, see take over Nigeria, and we will say this. When you support the return of terrorist group called Taliban, be sure to support extremism and terrorism because they are one. So stop backing Taliban. Terrorists to some people, uh, freedom fighters to others, it all depends on which side of the divide you are. And what will you call Sondigbo, Kano, the bandit, and the Boko Haram? Terrorist is their belief. A Muslim must shed blood to be a good Muslim. Igbo Christian terrorists called IPOP, ESN, Tai Juju for their ways, go on slaughtering and burning those who does not believe in their idea. A pot calling kettle, black, useless tribe. These are Nigerians reacting and they are still talking. You and they are you and them are one and they are the same. You all know what you people are doing, but your plan for Nigeria you know will work. That is why you have been secretly supporting Boko Haram to overrun the country, Nigeria, to accomplish their Islamic agenda. They are still in the game until what happened in, in Cuba happens here. Also, we are going to know what happen. Religion is to be accepted by conviction, not by force. They are coming for you one day and your children. Utterances like this frighten me to my parents in my own country. Nigerians, Nigeria, because it is like the prof is inviting or encouraging people to run a Taliban-like administration here, despite the high level of our education and development and explosion. Taliban is now in charge. This is the reality. Whether you like it or not, the fighters have taken over the power. Let them show the world what they can offer to their people. So guys, if you have heard it now, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.